Uh, hello everybody, Steven here. So this is part three of our little tutorial um, on how to model a house in ARCHICAD. And in this instance, um, we're doing Miss Vendor uh, Villa Tugunhat. So we already uh, have most of the volume, so now I think I'm just going to add some of the details. Um, if we look at the, the house, maybe from here, maybe what I can add is um, the windows, the openings. If we go into the tour and um, on this side. So I think, oops, use the arrow tools. I'm going to try to add uh, all the windows and maybe add the furniture so uh, in the later stage we can have uh, some nicer floor plans okay, let's go back um, okay so we go into the first floor and so that's like a um, that's the the balustrade and then we get windows here so what I do I'll just move it along a little bit uh, just so I can uh, reference the location of the windows and for now I don't really care about the height I just want to get them into position and try to oh it's, it's about the right size, so, so 900. I'm going to make another one here. Uh, 650 is fine. I'm going to have one here. This, and I'm going to stretch that. Make sure that you're on the move nodes so you can stretch it. Uh, I'm going to set it at 2 meters. And we're going to make a copy here. Move it. And. 2.4 looks alright to me and then I'm just going to drag that back here we can continue maybe the walls are a bit thick in here so maybe I'll just select those walls here and change the thickness to maybe 300 um, and I'm going to add the inner wall um, Move that. Does it? I'm gonna move that. I'm gonna go over it and cut it uh, by pressing Alt. Same here. Go over it. Press Control, and then you can cut it. I'm just gonna make those walls smaller. So that from the plan view, you can clearly differentiate what's the exterior wall and what's the interior wall. Um, I think I'll want to reduce the size of those walls as well. They look a bit too big. So say it's 300. And we can copy that wall. Put it right here. Shift it along to see um, if it's a round number. Um, is it too big? Yeah. One way of uh, changing instead of um, like you can select a wall and change the value here to 300, or you can just select the properties by pressing Alt, go over the wall, um, click, and then press Control R to inject the the properties. Just gonna move to 400. Select those two, and gonna intersect and click that along press control to create a copy so like I've selected the wall control D to duplicate um, it's not duplicate I think it's to move around but then if you press control it will make the, the copy and this one's gonna make it smaller as well and I'm going to make a copy um, I'm going to add one I'm 
gonna resize those so that at 200 take that one here and make it line with this one cut cut and so maybe this wall could be set to 200 so it's the same it's consistent and let's see if maybe we can just move that along Fine. Take this one. I'm gonna make a copy here. I'll stretch it. Make another copy. Align with this. Um, I mean, uh, it's the same process as what we did in earlier, um, but doing this will allow us to um, have a nicer floor plan. And two point Okay, uh, so let's go to the floor 3D view. Uh, one thing if you want to see your floor plans but um, you don't want to hide your walls or you don't want to, let's say, you delete it but then come back, because let's say that's what you want to see. See how the different um, interiors um, create the spaces and the volumes. Um, and you don't want to play with the layers because you could always hide this but it will hide all the floors so what you can do I think the command is control control alt a like all those together and then here you can limit the view and here I'm going to limit to the first floor press ok and bam it will cut everything uh, it will only show what's between the secret uh, the C level in the first floor. So if I change it to the ground floor, it's gonna show this part. It's gonna hide everything's still there, uh, but it's just in the 3D view. It's not gonna show. It's really good when you wanna take some uh, 3D isometric view. Um, let's say like this, uh, without uh, actually doing like a special layer combination. And you can jump back to infinite to show everything. That's just a little trick that I use to create my 3Ds. Um, so let's go back to the ground floor. I think we've done most of it. Um, and then now we've done the top part. I think what I'd like to do now is to maybe... I'm just going to cover that just so I'm going to create a street. So I'm going to that level here on the first level. Create a slab. Oh, I'm on the wall tool. I'm just going to create a slab. And let's see, 9000. Because uh, I think in the later videos, I'm going to. Try to make a contour so that our house is not just sitting on and floating. And let me change the surface. Let's see, concrete 10. And, and you can also make slabs in 3D if uh, you're more comfortable with it. So I've absorbed the properties of that slab, so the tool gets selected. And then you can press the corner, and if you selected the um, rotating rectangle uh, method, you can just do that. And maybe I'm just gonna drop that a little bit. 
and those walls also um, going to change their height so in the previous video I told you that walls are following are stretching depending on the story level so right now the the ground level here is 3.3 .3. but let's say this will um, you want them to be a bit lower than that so you can just um, input the value let's say 300 and then it will still stick like it will move around um, let's say here if I change to 6000 it will still stretch but it will keep that minus 300 um, yeah it's really handy that everything stretch um, when you change the story level because otherwise you have to do everything manually and yep it will take times um, change thickness maybe a bit bigger and let's see maybe I'll put some tiles da -da -da -da. Those ones. just for now okay um, Let's see, what else can we do? Oh, maybe I'll show you how to put the columns. Um, so you can see here, you have little columns. Uh, here, 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 all the way here. So we can place the column already. So plus one. And the spacing is about five four point nine four point four. Yeah, let's say we're doing this four point nine. So we can just select the column, uh, multiply, and do a spread of uh, four point nine, and just copy it along and. You get your columns. Then I'm just gonna select that column again, make a copy, press Alt to make a copy, and 5500. Do the same thing, multiply 4900, move it along, one from left side, and I wonder if uh, I'm just trying to select the image. So it's there's one also in the kitchen and one inside the wall. Uh, there's two outside on the terrace. So I'm just gonna multiply again and multiply again. Uh, as you can see, because there's the wall in the middle, it allows him to uh, have a bigger span. So I'm just going to bring it here and 250 just to be right in the middle. And bring that here 5.5 and get beams here as well. So you could either do the same thing, multiply, Oops. Mm. Ah, I'm gonna make that wall the same size as this. So it's inside, I'm gonna intersect those two. And I'm going to move this one and reference the other column here. So if you go into 3D, press Ctrl Alt A to show the filter window, show the ground floor. Uh, you can see um, the columns. Now, if you go to the image, 
Um, I think there should be a view of the inside. Like the columns are have the cross shape. I'm not sure exactly um, the size of it, but what we can do, I'm just going to show you how you make a special profile for a column. So you have to go into Option, Complex Profile, Profile Manager, and we're going to make a new one. So we call it Cross Column. And here you just have to draw in 2D the shape of the, the column and just going to do like a 150 by 150 by 50 and I'm going to create a an arc so here when I was doing my arc you can either use this one the curve edges uh, so it allows you to create any radius um, that you want but I, I want one that's um, that's following well I don't know how you would, you would say but uh, that's why I use this tool here using tangent and then I'm making sure it's along uh, that axis here do the same on the other side and now I'm just gonna rotate it and make a copy so I'm gonna rotate that if I want to make a copy, I press Control. Then you can see the plus sign. And now I just need to put it in the middle. Uh, Twenty-five. Okay. And now I'm just gonna because this is two fill. I want it make as one so I'm just going to select one one of the fill um, add polygon press the space bar to get the magic one and use the other fill as a reference to extend um, the fill that I selected and then I can delete the one behind so now we get a profile of a uh, cross column and then we want to store it as a, a column and maybe we can change the material as a steel stainless and store the profile so now if you go back to F5 uh, to the floor plan you can select one of the column here and here you, it's set to um, square uh, there is option for circle but there's an option for complex profile and then here you can choose um, there's some uh, ready-made one from Archicad but that's the one we just made cross column so just gonna click on that and voila um, one thing it just moved because this is the center point of the column and I think when we did uh, the profile we didn't center the cross to here so I'm just gonna edit it and make sure that the center of that fill is at the center here I'm just gonna select that I just made a, a guide for myself like this and restore again so now if you go back into the floor plan it shifted updated correctly it's going to 3d and that's what it looks like. Um, so we want to do that on all of the the posts. So instead of just selling one by one, because you know that those posts are the uh, have all the same shape. So you can just click on the column tool, press Control A, and so you select all the column, and here you can change the method uh, in the profile and cross color so they all change uh, make sure also that the surface is not um, override I mean if you want to override it we, we can and maybe 
put some like metal chrome so there's something more shiny but here we have our cross column so maybe I'm just going to move this one say so it's not sitting uh, on it okay um, I think I'm going to try to do that staircase here I haven't done it before. Uh, staircase usually always a problem for me. Um, so let's see. Do we have any? Hmm. That's gonna be a bit difficult. So maybe I'll have to to do it in two steps or. Let's see. I just want to check if I can edit the this edge here. Just press OK. And no, I don't think I'll be able to change. Okay, so what we're going to do is to have one, um, two straight runs, and a a curved staircase um, and then we'll just have to change the numbering so it complies um, they look as one staircase so let's try this and so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's okay um, we gonna have ten steps and we want it to be um, one of the two. And gonna move that. We don't want any railing. Um, and press OK for now. Save. And click. Oh, one thing that I didn't do, I haven't measured um, the width, so it's 1.4. And the gap in between is uh, let's say 400, so it's going to be 3.2. Yeah, it's about 3.2. So I'm just going to go back in here, edit. This is going to be 3.2. The width is 1.4. Press OK and now we're just going to change the angle. Um, what's the distance? Okay, it's not even uh, correct. So I'm just going to put it 3.4. And I'm gonna stretch that, stretch this a little, cut it, and now I'm just gonna 3.4, so it's 1.7, and it's 400. So now we get one, two, three, four. So let's make a, a straight run for four steps. And we don't want this, we don't want any reading. And the width should be 1.4. Press OK. Save. Let's look at it here. Uh, we're going to flip it. Mm. 
it's about right and this one needs to be about three meters and this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so three meters and ten um, just gonna copy that and we edit I just want to edit this one because otherwise we'll edit the, the one I selected previously uh, I did that so that the the width uh, will be the same I'll just need to change this and this is going to be three meters press ok and I'm going to mirror it so it's on the other side so now we need to figure out the exact um, height of the thread because I've selected all three so I press F5 I'm just gonna see that so as you can see um, this should be the other way around and this one should be higher so let's do that just gonna mirror and so this is supposed to be 3300 and we have 10 20 24 steps so if we use the calculator 3300 oops let me show you the calculator divided by 34 so should be about 137 in height so edit that Hundred thirty-seven point five. Uh, this is just one thirty-seven. Press OK. Gonna do the same for here. Looks pretty. Seems pretty low to me, but um, one thirty-seven. Press OK. Oops. I didn't lock it, so I did lock it. Oh my god, that was this one that I need to change, not the others. One eighty, one thirty seven. No, that actually, there was this one. 137 Oops Edit 118 Okay, something is not working properly So 180 is fine So the riser height doesn't allow me to edit that mm. Video is out of the range. What is it? <laughs> yep, uh, it's all trial and errors. fine so let's go into the 3d view and I'm just gonna drop this Create a section. And from here I can just do it automatically. Uh, well, not automatically, but uh, 137. 
and I'm going to move that section. So section is this tool here. I'm just click on one point, uh, one side, press shift, uh, drag it on the other side, and uh, point it uh, in the direction you want it to be viewed. So I want to be this side. Open. And I'm going to take this, drag it down here, and just lift it back up on 37. And if I look at the 3D, that's what I have. Um, let's click those three. Set back up. And we get the staircase. And as you can see, this is like an old field. Feels like there's a big concrete wall all around. And so what we can do let's see what's the space here. Maybe I'll just script it first. So I can move as one and I'm just gonna 150 and Maybe it wasn't supposed to be. Maybe it should be to be 1.3. 1.3. Okay. Edit 1.3. And I'm going to change this one as well to 1.3. Back here. And take it there. Three point one. Three point one. Uh, yep, yeah, it's more like it. And here I'm just gonna add one fifty as well. So what I'd like to do now is, is to create a shape that surrounds that staircase to create the here. So I could either use a wall. So maybe this wall I can increase it so it touch here. So let's say 650. Uh, so the there's like two walls maybe, so I'm just gonna cut that wall. So this is two different walls. And this one can be increased to six one fifty to four hundred. And then I'm just gonna push it up. And now I have this wall here. So maybe I'm just gonna Drag it all the way to here. So this is going to be about. Uh, maybe what I can do is to create a, a slab from here. Here I'm going to delete this part here. So I can use the oh no, I can't. <laughs> I'm just gonna add two nodes and create an arc. And now I can change the size of the slabs to be extruded uh, all the way to the top. So it will look like a so it's this one here. So maybe it's not the also oh, it's going all the way. So let's select this and stake this. Just want to show you what happened. So like the slab is actually changing in height, but because of the way we selected it here, the reference plane, and so it, it went down. So if you want to go up, you just have to switch that. And and of course, actually, I should have. Um, Take that slab and go along here. So I'm just gonna 
close that and create the arc so it touch here so now if I go into 3D that's what I have and maybe I'm going to change that color to to be white um, what it looks like and maybe I'll have need to have a wall here as well I'm just gonna copy this here and have a here. close that Yeah, increase the size of this wall so we go all the way to here so I added like 1.2 of this is going to be 1.7 and we add this wall and it's going to be added 800 I'm going to intersect uh, increase the size of this wall um, to do this I'm gonna move that along here and create, oops, create a wall and delete the window intersect and I'm going to change the width so it's 700 change to the inside 700 and intersect those two then here and I guess I don't need to do that uh, <laughs> Can't do the same here. Flip that and put it down. Uh, maybe I can stretch the wall. I'm going to add a wall here. staircase is good. If we go to the upper levels, um, we're going to need to create a hole here for for the staircase. Um, as you can see, the staircase are not actually on the same position. Hmm. So I think it's because the two plans that I have are a bit different. And things are not lining up. <laughs> okay. Um, 
but uh, what we'll do just gonna move this uh, let me check some 12 That's when you improvise. Okay. Uh, let's see how it's gonna look like if I bring that here. level and we bring it down here let's see oh yeah on this one it's pushed a bit up huh? uh, I guess I should have um, used just one type of plan uh, to make sure everything's correct I think I had some some other upper floor. Oh, that's not this one. Let's take this and put it on the first floor. That. Control K. Don't take this. just follow that plan and bring it back to where it was so this is going to go back down let's go back up and resize that plan I guess we're just gonna bring this down. To fit this one. But uh, this need to be bring, bring down then. I'm gonna delete that. And the arced need to be different as well. And it needs to be brought to here. And then voila. This is gonna be moved up.
Okay, um, you can see when I drag it here, it kind of intersects automatically, but I don't want that little angle. Um, one easy fix is to just uh, flip it around. Is this going over here? Nah. Okay. I just need to make a. I guess it should be a hole here. I'm just gonna move that on the side, and I'm gonna create a hole in the slab by just subtracting. Uh, some polygon. Tick. And so with this is lab. I'm just gonna move it around. Add some nodes so I can pull some edges. If it doesn't work, I just add as a polygon. Oops, should subtract. Let's go to the view. Now you can see the staircase. Maybe I'm just gonna pull that. Some cleanups. I do like that. Um, yeah, no, I think it was better before. Like this. Maybe I make a. I think the the column is actually going all the way to the roof. So what you can do here is you just select all the columns and if you go into the setting you can see they stretch up to the first floor. You can just stretch them to the roof. And bam, they're going all the way to the top. And you can see here it's not really in the center. So oh also like we just um stretch the wing the columns but uh you can't see them on that floor plane, so you just have to select the column again. Show on story or relevant story. Go back to the first floor. You should see them, and I'm just gonna place that wall so that it's aligned with the columns. Oops. Okay, uh, I guess that's it for today. Uh, I've just shown you how to add some column, uh, change the profile, and create a staircase. Oh, maybe for the staircase, I just want to quickly show you because we have three different type of staircase, and you have the numbering here. And you can see the it's finished four. Go back to one. So here you can go to the staircase, edit stairs. Start from here, and I think there's an option start from, and you can start from five. So now it's a switch. Uh, here, if you want, you can just mirror the staircase. So it's on the same side, and here we're going to do the same. It's going to start to 
15. Press OK. And uh, I guess I need to find a way to rotate them. Readable lung symbol. See what it does. Yep. Oh. And maybe we're gonna remove the purple thing and make them straight. Fill background white. Okay. Gonna do the same thing here. Fill background white. Um, the arrow is not centered. Do we need this arrow? None. The arrow is still here. It's just edit. Oh, we need to show the arrows. Oh, maybe. Show threads, show numberings. Tech display. I'm sure there's a way to untuck the arrow. There's this one button. No, I'm sure it's this one. Because I don't want it to be, because it's not in the center. Show to the print line, line type. Oh. Maybe I can move it. No, I can't move that. Okay, well, um, maybe next time I'll try. I'll, I'll find this a solution about moving that arrow because I really want it to be in line with this. Nope. Should carriage, should be carriage. Nope, it's not there. Well, if I find, find it all, I'll let you guys know. Um, but yeah, that's what we did today. Uh, so I think tomorrow I'm just gonna add the furniture. Uh, as you can see, it, it takes quite some time to model a house, but uh, we'll get there. Uh, let's see, infinite. I think it doesn't go on those ones, so we can just change it back to first floor and those as well. First floor. Okay, save it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you next time.